ఇది బ్రదర్స్ అండ్ సిస్టర్స్ we need to respect the holy bible the maximum with maximum respect just like we honor the blessed sacrament and we always worship the blessed sacrament and we honor the blessed sacrament we respect the blessed sacrament and if there is blessed sacrament anywhere we always bow down and honor the blessed sacrament the same way we also should honor the bible the word of god if you have bible in your home please do keep the bible in the most holy place and keep it holy and clean and neat and it should be given a priority and importance in your home maybe you have prepared a altar in front of uh, in front of the picture of jesus or anywhere wherever you are praying keep the holy bible in the holiest way possible maybe keeping the on the table keeping a white cloth and over that you can keep the bible and cover it with a uh, white cloth or something so that unnecessary power, the dust and other things should not uh, destroy the bible so we should honor and respect the bible as if just like we all respect the honor and and on uh, respect the holy eucharist suppose if the priest is bringing the holy eucharist to your home and keeping it in your home just imagine how respect how with how much respect you will honor the bible uh, holy eucharist the same respect the same reverence you should give to the bible so that is what the catechism of the catholic church says because the whole bible is speaking about one word the whole bible is in fact one word every sentence in the bible the whole bible in fact is speaking about one word and that word is jesus christ that word is jesus so let's read the catechism of the catholic church paragraph number 102 and we read like this through all the words of sacred scripture through all, through the, all words the words of, of sacred, sacred scripture god speaks only one single word God, God speaks, speaks only one, one single, single word. word. In the whole Bible, God speaks only one single word. Though we have thousands and millions of, word of words that you can see, read in this Bible, in fact, God is speaking to us only one single word through the whole Bible. His one utterance, His His one one utterance, utterance in, whom, in whom He expresses Himself completely. He, he expresses, expresses himself, himself completely. completely so this one single word in which he he is expressing his nature his thought, everything completely you recall that one you recall, you recall that, that one. one and the same word of god and the same word of extends god extends throughout the scripture extends throughout the scripture from the beginning till the end the same word the one single word which god the father want to speak to us he is there that is one and the same utterance that, that is, is one, one and the, the same, same utterance that resounds in the mouths of all the sacred writers that resounds, that resounds in the mouths of all the sacred writers that means beginning with genesis till the revelations all the books speaks about one word one person one one word of god one utterance that is jesus since he who was in the beginning since he who was in the beginning with god with, with god, god has no need of separate syllables has, has no need of separate syllables for he is not subject to time for he is not subject to time praise the lord praise the lord let's continue praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus for this reason for this reason the church has always venerated the scriptures The church, the church has always venerated the scriptures as she venerates the lord's body as she venerates the lord's body see catechism of the catholic church 103 says just for this reason because the whole bible the lord heavenly father is speaking to us through the whole bible one utterance one single word and that word is jesus jesus a person of christ and for this reason the church has always venerated the scriptures as she venerates the lord's body just like eucharist is respected and venerated and uh, uh, respected and honored the same way we should respect and honor the bible in your home 
Just imagine if by the Holy Eucharist is brought to your home, how with, you will decorate the altar, you will keep the flowers and candles lit or something, some light should be there and then you will keep the blessed sacrament there in your home in case if the priest happened to bring the blessed sacrament, maybe for a sick person at home, you do this. Now you have to do the same for the word of God, Bible. Because this is the tradition of the church. The church has always venerated the scriptures as she venerates the Lord's body. She never ceases to present. She, she never, never ceases, ceases to, to present to the faithful. To the, to the faithful. The bread of life. The bread of life. Taken from the one table of God's word. Taken from the one table of God's word. And Christ's body. And Christ's body. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So this is bread of life. Bread of life means it, it is including the Holy Eucharist and all the, also the Holy Word. This is called bread of life. Word of God and also the body of Christ. Eucharist and the Bible together is called bread of life. And we need this bread of life. The Eucharist we receive from the home, uh, receive from the church. And word of God you receive it in your home. And this both together we call bread of life. It is available for us. And this is what we need to know. So these, my dear brothers and sisters, this is how we learn more and more about our faith. And we increase our faith.